We've finally arrived at the postseason for Legion Baseball this summer. Today, the start of Class B District tournaments. Let's start with day one of the District 2 tournament in Minot. The four seed Ken Mayer taking on Stanley in the opener. Ken Mayer with a runner on first trying to get in scoring position, but a timely throw from Camden Reap and a nice tag. Ken Mayer reaping the rewards there. Kaysen Bieri delivers a shot past the outfield and the runner from second comes home to score. The throw in is offline, which allows Bieri to score easily to make it two to one. Ken Mayer out front. This one a defensive battle the rest of the way. Basically, Stingers able to turn two on the short grounder to get out of the fourth inning, but this score holds the rest of the way. Ken Mayer moves to the winner's bracket to play Surrey with the two to one win. The winner of this game, Crosby and Burlington, takes on Renville County. The Cubs grab the early lead as with two in scoring position, Rylan Fennell delivers a base knock to score one and throw in is offline to extend the Crosby lead to two. This lead doesn't hold for long though. Bulldogs respond with a big inning. One scores here on the one hopper past the backstop, moving another runner up to third who scores another run here on the next pass ball to tie the game. Later it's a base hit adding to the Burlington lead. Connor Coons rips one into left field making it four to two Bulldogs. They go on to win this one 15 to three. Now it's the one seed Surrey Blue Sox taking on Ken Mayer. Surrey trying to add to their two run lead with two on. Webb Lowry can't track down the pop up but how about the hustle here. He beats Colton Francis on this all out dive to first to end the inning. And later, the Blue Sox with bases loaded. Canoa Munoz delivers a base knock up the middle. Two runs come across to double the Surrey lead to four. And in the fourth, Ken Mayer with action on the base pass. This pat pitch gets by the catcher and Derek Handlett gets his team on the board. Now runners on the corners and a heads up defensive play here. Look at this. The runner goes for second, but it's right back to the pitcher Colin Hedrick who finds the runner between third and home and just a little shovel pass there to end the inning. Surrey moves on in this one 10 to 3 the final and it's lights out at Corbett for the nightcap Renville County and Burlington Ducks on the pond in the first Joe Savickle gets the Muskrats on the board as the base hit brings two runs across now Renville County with another runner in scoring position but this put out here from short a nice stretch over at first base ends the inning Bulldogs offense not able to do much early Gannon Hall he's just working his way through the order here. No hits through two and a punch out to end the inning. Muskrats with a runner on first in the second. This play could be trouble, but look at this. A nice over the shoulder catch by Ty Hughes out in left field. Definitely a top play of the week nominee. Great defensive plays all, all around here at Corbett today. Renville County winning this one 13 to three. Over